What is up, my fellow internet dwellers? Couchman here, and we're doing another Five Amazing Mods video. This time we're focused on the game Starbound. Please repeatedly stab that like button, comment on which mod was your favorite, and subscribe for more weekly modding content. Occasionally when playing Starbound, I think it pops into all of our heads that, you know, the game would be so much better if we had the responsibilities of having pets in the game. Don't worry, this suit's got you covered with the purchasable pet mod. To use the mod, just come to Affinity Express, scroll down, and you'll have a variety of pet houses that you can now purchase. Like, for some reason, you could buy a snake house for you demented people out there. Or a snugget. Once you purchase the pet houses that will store over in your replaceable inventory, go ahead and just move it up here. Go back to your ship with it. Go back to your ship, go ahead and throw the pet place down, and all of a sudden, hey, you have a snake. Or, hey, you have a... Random cloud thingy. Snug it. Uh, there's no limit to the amount of purchable, purchasable pets you can have. You can get as many as you want. They're basically just interactable pets. Friend to play with. Then you go look at your friends list and you realize not a single one of them owns Starbound. Or... Potentially, maybe you just don't have any friends. Don't worry, Peels has got your back with the Create a Friend mod. To be able to use the mod, go into your crafting menu. Go ahead and create the Adventures table. Drop that down. Go ahead and level it up to three. Once it's level three, you can go ahead and find the employer station here. Go ahead and craft that. Throw the employer station down, go ahead and make the calf spawner inside of it. Spawn the calf spawner. Go ahead and throw your items onto it that you want your person to use. So, throw your leg armor there, your weapon there, chest armor. Mm -hmm. Your NPC should equip all the items you've got, and just like that, now you have a friend to go around the world with. Mm -hmm. You can hit Eom and they'll wait for you, or you can hit E again and they'll start following you again. How many people playing Starbound have gotten sick of the grind for resources? Don't worry if that's the case, the spawnable item bomb pack by Error 41 has you covered. Once you install the mod, you can just come over to a quick bar here, click the spawnable item packs, and now you can spawn any item in the game uh, this doesn't include your modded items, but this will be anything else you want. So, you can go ahead and spawn anything from legendary swords. You can spawn by category. You can do artwork. Your utilities, your crafting benches. Mech parts. Basically just anything in the game, consumables, instruments, all of it is now spawnable. All you have to do is click print, well pick an item, click print, and all of a sudden that item is now in your inventory. No more needing to go look all over the place for a given item, just go to show all objects, say, hey I need copper wire for this mission I'm working on, okay. You can go ahead and print a hundred of it. And just like that, you now have a hundred copper wire. Very, very easy to use. Very, very intuitive. And probably the most game-breaking of any of the mods I'm showing today. So Starbound already has a mech system in it that you can upgrade and it adds a lot of coolness to the game. However, if you want the game to, you know, have a little more Robotech feel to it, slightly better, slightly cooler mechs, Lopal Cat's got you covered with the XS Mex mod. So to use the XS Mex mod, you can just come to the vehicle vendor, go to purchase, and he'll have these mechs here for purchase. They are expensive, but they are really worth it. The advantages of these over the normal mech is you don't deploy to them. Instead, you just equip them in your inventory. Once equipped, you can go ahead and cycle to them and just drop them on the ground.
There is a wide variety of mechs you can go with. They do some really cool stuff. And the advantage of these mechs over normal mechs is they will follow you anywhere. So you don't need to deploy to them. You can just... You can just come down here, drop the mech that you want right there. Go ahead and hop in. And you're good to go. These mechs have amazing combat potential for the most part. A little lacking on the drill potential, but that's okay. And yeah, that is the XS Mech mod. Or of somebody's idea of let's add a ton of in-game content, a ton of in-game modding, a ton of in-game items. I mean, basically the person decided to just litter with you all kinds of cool stuff you can do at the end. And that's the Project Nightfall mod by Nitro Still. Nightfall mod actually has a lot to it. If you come over to your level three inventor station, you'll actually see there are about six different Nightfall stations you can create. The first one you're gonna need to create is the Nightfall weapons and assemblers, so you can actually build the advanced level items you're going to need for your items. That's right, not only does it come with its own items or come with its own weapons, all that, you have to have your own unique items to build these. Like singularity cells, power cores, uh, you can't craft these via the spawner. Spawnable items won't have any of this modded stuff on it. But you can create end-of-game armor, like a Terminator helmet, or cool chest piece. You really want to just add a really cool, basically like Starship Trooper look to your character. Additionally, you have end-of-game weapons you can build. Swords, guns, you name it. And they all have a really unique appearance to them, like this. The Kladava Kiever. So that's just one of the mod stations. That's the weapons, armor, and items. You also have the augmented vending machine, where you can now purchase creatures to work for you. So I can buy a Smoglin. And there's an augmented smoglin to work with me. Yeah, Frutus. Pop top. Ooh, he's really cool. Actually, let's try that guy real quick. Uh, pop top. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty awesome. So you have a wide variety of in-game monsters you can buy to back you up. Next up, you have the augmented crafting station where you can build additional crafting augments like Berserker, which ups your health drops, Radiator, Pixel Maker, Signal Distributor, just a wide variety of other mods you can do. You've got your vending machine where you can purchase drones to attack instead of monsters, like your Spectre Missile Drone, Hammer Defense Drones, Plasma Drones, just tons of stuff. Next, you have a furniture catalog for your internal appearance of your base like you can add a city crypto display it can drop down a little city crypto display or you have plants or just a wide variety of teleporters just tons of different customizations to make your place feel a little more homely next you have the vehicle vending machine where you can buy vehicles to actually improve your overall time like uh, let's go ahead and buy the gunship. And now you have a gunship you can use. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any suggestions on other games or mods that you'd like to see on the channel, please message me on Twitter at Couch Command. Don't forget to brutally stab that like button. Leave a message down in the comments on Mitch Mod Shine. And finally, hit the subscribe button so you can get more of my weekly mining content. This was Couch Command, and you all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.